Hello, good evening. Welcome, everybody. My name is Guillermo Lopez. This is week 14 picks here. Um, first of all, I'd like to give a happy birthday shout out to my sister in law, Charlene. Uh, not much of a football fan at all, but she watches my posts regularly, and uh, I appreciate the support. Happy birthday, Charlene. Okay, so let's do some math here. All right. Previously on the Fresno Caramo Show, I was 89 and 56, which is a 61.4% win percentage. Last week, oh, okay. Last week, I went 14 and 2. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, Bill Walsh, what? So why am I messing with the mojo? Why am I not in the garage? Why am I inside? Well, it's cold outside, and I wanted to get the Christmas tree in the pick here. All right, cool. So now that brings me up to... Boo, 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 boo. 103 and 58 on the season. That's 100. That's 50. That's pretty good where I come from. 63.9%. Who knows what's going on? Take my picks to Vegas. Also, my nephew Trevor, and I guarantee he does not watch my videos. Maybe somebody else does, and he's kind of hanging out in the background. Happy birthday tomorrow, Trevor. You left your skateboard at my house. Okay. So cool. Coming down this week's picks here, we got six and seven San Diego at eleven and two Denver. I like Denver in this game. Uh, Denver has been playing very well all season long. And was that in the way? That was in the way. I apologize. Yeah, I apologize. Um, yeah, I like Denver um, in this game. It's at home. Uh, Peyton Manning. Everybody seen the picture of his foot in the pool and his helmet on. He was actually the caption that I saw posted on Facebook said that. Hey, quietly, or I'll turn the game off. Thank you. So there's a picture of Peyton Manning uh, that was posted online. Hey, don't when I start talking, don't start talking again. Quietly. Why don't we pause it for a minute? <laughs> That's parenting right there, babies. That's parenting. So there's a picture of Peyton Manning again in the pool. He had his helmet on. He was looking at an eye tablet. He said this is what he's doing in his downtime. What was happening is that that was a uh, he was in the pool rehabbing his ankle while practice was going on. He was listening to the calls. That's why he had his helmet on. He was listening to the calls of the offensive coordinator as they were calling him into the practice team. And he was watching the game film of practice or watching, I don't know, other game film at the same time. So very dedicated guy. I think he's going to go out there. So it should be a shootout. Could be interesting. Uh, typically, running back uh, numbers fare better on Thursday Night Football than quarterback numbers, if you listen to, according to NFL Network. But, um... Yeah, uh, I'll take Denver in that game. Uh, next, we have a uh, ten and three Kansas City at four and nine Oakland. I think most of the fight is out of Oakland there. I'll take Kansas City. Uh, Washington three and ten, Atlanta three and ten. Actually, kind of a tough game to call. Kirk Cousins is going to start for the Redskins there. Maybe they rally around him. I know a lot of people on the Redskins are uh, not happy with RG three, RG three and ten. Get it? But um, Atlanta, still, they've had an up-and-down season. Roddy White has emerged here lately. I'll take Atlanta in that game, mostly because they're at home. Uh, next, we have Chicago 7-6 and six at Cleveland 4-9. and nine. Jake Cutler getting the start. He's been out for four or five weeks, roughly. It will come back in, replacing Josh McCown. And I'll take Chicago in that game, though I think it's going to be very close. I think that's probably about a three- or four-point game. Uh, next, we have Houston 2-11 and 11 at Indianapolis 8-5. and five. I'll take Indy. Uh, New England 10 and 3 at Miami 7 and 6. Miami has a lot of fight in them, but I'll still take New England in that game. Uh, that should be also a close game. Most of these games this weekend, I think, are going to be pretty close. Uh, we have Philly 8 and 5 at Minnesota 3 9 and 1. I'll take Philly. Uh, next we have Seattle 11 and 2 with the New York Football Giants 5 and 8. Uh, Seattle looking to get back on track. I took a lot of flack from my family members, my immediate family last week for picking against the Seahawks, but I was right. I've called every Seahawk game right this year so far. I think the tough trip across country to New York if New York was a little bit of a fighting a little bit had a little bit more fight in them I think that Seattle might again be a candidate to lose but I think that they'll have just enough to get by though again I predict maybe like a 17 to 6 game something like that low scoring uh, game win for Seattle uh, next we have San Francisco 9 and 4 at Tampa Bay 4 and 9 I'll take the 49ers in there I think 49ers are getting some confidence here uh, Tampa Bay has been playing better lately, but I think that defense will be able to shut down Bobby Rainey. Mike Glennon did not look good last week for Tampa Bay. I'll take the Niners. Uh, next, we have Buffalo 4-9 and, and Jacksonville 4-9. and nine. I'll take Jacksonville. Uh, even though they might be without Maurice Jones-Drew, I still think they're playing very well. Jacksonville is 
and won the last five weeks. They're the hottest team in the AFC. Uh, next we have what's going on here. The New York Football Jets, 6-7 and seven at Carolina, 9-4. and four. Carolina gets back on track. Easy win for them at home. Uh, we have Green Bay, 6-6-1 six, six and one at Dallas, 7-6. and six. I like Dallas in this game. Uh, Aaron Rodgers will not start for Green Bay. I think that Matt Flynn will probably play a lot better. I think Matt Flynn has a good chance of putting a good uh, number series. He's going to get a lot, a lot more practice with the first team. Uh, he's been there for about a month now. I think he's a little bit more confident in that. And uh, if you watch that Monday Night Football game, Dallas does not look like they are interested in playing defense. I know they've had a lot of injuries, but at this point in the season, every team has had injuries. That could be a hot mess, but I'll still take Dallas in that game. Uh, next, we have Arizona 8-5 and five at Tennessee 5-8. and eight. Uh, I'll take Arizona in that game. Uh, next, we have uh, New Orleans 10-3 and three at St. Louis 5-8. and eight. I'll stick with New Orleans, hot team there. Uh, Cincinnati nine and four at Pittsburgh five and eight. I'm gonna go with Pittsburgh in this game. I think Pittsburgh. I don't know. I'm kind of picking them a lot this year. Kind of like not picking uh, Cincinnati that much this year. I just hope AJ Green has a good game. Helps me out my fantasy playoffs. And the Monday Night Football game. Excuse me. Is Baltimore seven and six at Detroit seven and six. Good, interesting game. Tight game. A little bit of smack talk. Somebody said Calvin Johnson's old. Okay, this is uh this is how I know that I'm old. A 22 year old guy in the NFL called a 28 year old guy in the NFL old. I'm 37. That's just not cool, man. That's just not cool. Um, but yeah, I'll take Detroit in that game. Uh, they sh probably will be th without Reggie Bush. But uh, I mean, I don't know. That should be a good, good exciting game. Monday Night Football getting uh, to uh, uh, getting some exciting games, at least some decent games, competitive. So recapping, I got Denver, Kansas City, Atlanta, Chicago, Indianapolis, New England, Philadelphia, Seattle, San Francisco, Jacksonville, Carolina, Dallas. Arizona, New Orleans, Pittsburgh, and Detroit. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a good one. Peace out.